when you think of America's pastime, you usually think of baseball, but MMA fighting is right there with it. And in the last 20 years, the sport has really escalated. I can look at your original Olympics, there's Greco-Roman wrestling, um, which back then was the MMA today. Um, these guys incorporate a lot of wrestling in what they do. People look at this as a new sport, but it's actually a very old sport. And it's really surprising to see how a sport can grow so fast in 20 to 30 years. I mean, Hoist Gracie and the UFC hit the scene in the early 90s, and it just it sparked from there. Dana White bought the UFC, and now it is the number one growing sport in the world. The students here at Briar Patch train extremely hard every day to get in prime condition for competition. 20 of the fighters are still awaiting their first fight. Fighters Jordan Thrash and Frank Washington are two of those 20 awaiting. Getting um, Aaron Brown teach me pretty good and, you know, getting on the game and going to the match want to dominate and, you know, it's pretty fun, kind of hard at the same time too, but I thank God that I'm here that I'm going to ring and dominate and just trying to be on top of the game, that's it. Uh, I thought I would, you know, run two miles and be like, oh, this ain't nothing, you know, I get in here and see, like, ring condition is so much different than just running around, man. You start using your hands and knees, your legs stuff, you wear out in about 30 seconds. Both of these guys spend days running on the treadmill, lifting weights, and working out in the heat, doing endurance drills like these you see here. Thrash and Washington's first competition is July 30th at the Remington's Hunt Club in Hattiesburg. For 7 on your side, sports, I'm Andy King.